Welcome to my review of Matter Hacker's PVA filament. To find out why I bought this filament, subscribe, then you'll see when that video comes out. I'm doing something very cool with it. Structurally, the filament is very soft, and from my experience, it bends more than the iPhone 6. On a more serious note, though, it quite clearly folds quite past the point that ABS or PLA would crack or shatter or etc. So who does that make it for if it's not meant for making structurally sound parts? Well, one of the biggest features about PVA filament is that it's dissolvable. Now there are other dissolvable filaments like HIPS and PLA, however you need other possibly expensive or even dangerous chemicals or materials to dissolve it in. PVA dissolves in nothing more than water, which is great. Also, it dissolves a lot faster than PLA or HIPS in that I found that depending on size and infill density, it will, I mean, take a amount of time in according to those uh, attributes of of uh, density and um, size. Now, quality-wise, the prints are amazing. I found that the best temperature to print at is about 100, uh, 195 degrees Celsius. Any more than that, and you're likely to get a bit of webbing or spider webbing, as it's called, between objects on the print bed. Now, um, so obviously, when printing at that temperature, I got great results. Prints look beautiful, and there was also very little warping. As you'll see in one of the clips I'll have in this video, there was a bit of uh, warping as far as a raft lifting off of itself, kind of, but I never had a print lifting off of the bed. Keep in mind, I was using a blue painter's tape and um, an Elmer's glue stick over that. Now, this brings me nicely into my next point, that's an advantage over um, HIPS specifically, is that you don't need a heated bed to print with it, which is great, and also slightly surprising considering its uh, thermal properties and its, um, and its attributes being closer to that of ABS than PLA. So, does that make it worth the price tag on it? Matter Hacker's PVA filament is the same price of, in some cases, two kilograms of PLA. And keep in mind, you buy the PVA in half kilograms. Doesn't seem that great, does it? That's what I thought. So, this makes it into an interesting conclusion of how does it actually perform as a dissolvable support material? Well, in my testing on a Replicator 2X, it printed very nicely and alongside um, ABS. And once the print was done, I was able to just dunk it in some water. It was able to dissolve the support material away, leaving barely any residue, which all of which could be cleaned off by hand, and left the print completely fine and unscathed and undamaged by the supports themselves. So. This leaves an obvious takeaway that there are two main uses for this filament. Dissolvable supports and any other projects that may involve dissolvable material. Speaking of which, that will be my next video as I mentioned earlier, so stay, stay subscribed so you don't miss that. And as always, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. See you next time.